I will be showing you how you can go from zero to 5,000, 10,000, 20,000, 50,000 followers overnight without spending money. How I got social media posts reaching millions of views and tens of thousands of likes and how I made over $100,000 on Instagram easily. And as you can see, I've helped thousands of content creators and artists do the exact same thing. I've seen this formula over and over and over again. It always happens in the exact same way. Even in today's Instagram landscape, that is most definitely harder than it has ever been it's oversaturated everybody is sharing everything their lives their stories their product their services but all of that doesn't matter with the strategy that I'm going to show you the problem with most strategies you hear online is that they used to work but they don't work anymore but this strategy will work for eternity because it works on human psychology and the algorithm might change but human psychology will never change and yes it can happen to anyone and yes I believe that it will happen to every single person that watches this video and implements the things that I say. Let's get started. The first thing that you want to do is to set up your page for success and that starts with having the best Instagram bio possible because the Instagram bio is the first thing that people will read when they stumble upon your page. And what I would recommend here is to talk about the thing that people will get when they follow you on Instagram. And the reason I would recommend this is because this strategy is backed up by neuroscience in Fascinate by Sally Hawkshead. I read a beautiful study done with monkeys. In this study, they took monkeys and put them on the brain scans and then gave them one grape to eat and then measured the brain waves. And what they found was that the, the monkey's brain fired up way more when they were anticipating eating the grape than when they were eating the grape itself. And so what can we learn from this? Well, that anticipation in this scenario is more powerful than getting the actual thing itself. Anticipating eating the grape is more powerful than eating the grape itself. And so what does this mean for our Instagram bio? Well, in our Instagram bio, we want to talk about the thing that people will be getting when they follow us. Because, as we just learned, anticipating getting that thing can be more powerful than getting the thing itself. And so how does that look? Well, if you're an artist, for example, you can say something like, I am an artist that teaches people how to draw anything in their lives so that they can turn their fantasy into reality. If you want to dive deeper in these bio strategies, I have a completely different video, it's 10 minutes long, that dives very deep into the neuroscience, the science behind Instagram bios. I'll link it in the description. And yeah, for now, let's move on. Now, once we have a great bio, there are two more problems. Number one, we don't have any posts yet. And number two, we don't have any followers. So let's solve those problems. Some of the posts that I would recommend you to create that are extremely easy to create and also have some of the highest shareability factors on Instagram are infographics, quotes, and list type of shareable type of things. Play that back, write it down, whatever you need to do. Now, the powerful thing about these pieces of content, because they are so easy to digest and easy to share, is that your audience will share them with their audience, who will share them with their audience, who will share them with their audience, etc., etc., etc. Now, when it comes to getting your first couple of followers, the same strategy applies. We want to go for low hanging fruit type of strategies that are very easy. And what I would recommend here, all the way in the beginning, is to do something that Instagram recommends themselves, and that is to bulk follow all of your Facebook friends and friends you have on other social media platforms. And so what will happen here is that those friends will receive a notification on Instagram that you now follow them and because they are raised properly and are very friendly, they will want to reciprocate and follow you back. And the powerful thing about this strategy is that if you have a lot of Facebook friends, you now suddenly have 50 to 100 Instagram friends basically for free by doing two minutes of work, namely pressing that bulk follow button. That's two minutes for 100 followers. That's the easiest 100 followers that you will get on Instagram. Let's move on. So now that we have some followers, 50, 100 followers, doesn't really matter too much. We have some posts, we have highly shareable posts. Now we want to go towards the next stage, namely turning those 50 followers into 1,000 followers, 1,500 followers, 2,000 followers, whatever number you set as a goal. Let me show you how with a little screen recording of one of my pages. Let me get my glasses and all of that stuff. Ba, 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 ba. So let's go to one of my pages and let's um, quickly go to the main page. And here I'm just selecting an artist. And why artist? Well, this is an art page. And so you want to click on something that is similar to your audience. You want to identify a particular page that is very similar to your page that will have the same type of followers as you want to ideally get for your page. And so this is an art page. We go to an artist and this artist will have followers that are artists, galleries, collectors, all of that stuff. And so once we have established something like that, let's say you are a football type of channel, you want to go towards another football type of channel to get um, yeah, 
you get the idea. So once we have that, we click on their followers and we will just go through those followers. And let's click on a random person. So the first thing that we want to establish is whether or not they are active. Uh, last post one day ago, then 20 June, 40 June. So this is fairly active. This is okay. This is an artist. Clearly he makes photography, international awards, commercial fine art photographer. So yeah, he might be interested in the art that you make as an artist or as a gallery, the art that you share and then stuff like that. And so uh, then you just click on their post. Once you have established that they are in the same niche, that they are interested in your type of content, that they are also active, then you start going into their posts and you like a post, you read the comments as well. The man with the candle, this is from Thailand series, uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so you have a man with a candle, you read it, you want to make a comment as well. So you comment something like, really love the atmosphere the candle brings to the image. You can also do this on your computer because you can type much faster and, and you can go through this process much faster. So you, you go through a couple of posts, you do this, you really show that you actually watch their uh, posts and stuff like that. It's really cool with the rabbit stuff. Okay, so once you've done this, you go to their profile and you follow them. And it's as easy as this. Now you follow them. Now they will get the notifications of you going to their page, liking their stuff, commenting, actually being ready to interact with them and then following them afterwards. Now, ideally you want to do this for people who are following a lot of people themselves. So this person is only following 306 people. That's not enough. The likelihood of them following us back is pretty low because they're not really the type of person that likes to follow other people. Now, alternatively, what you can do is click on the likes. So the people that have liked this post. Interestingly, somebody that I um, already follow. So if you are going to, instead of going to the followers, but you are going to the people who like the post, now you are certain that these types of people are people that actually like posts on Instagram. And so if you will have them as followers, then they will be likely to like your post as well. And so this is a higher engagement resulting in your posts getting shared to more people. And so this is very interesting. We can go and click on the likes and then do the same process. We go to a particular page, uh, scan if they are active, scan if they are interested in our type of channel, in our type of Instagram page, and then we want to interact with them and eventually follow them in the hope that they will follow us back and um, start to consume our content as well. This is all the same strategy, reciprocation, psychology, very well researched strategy. Just This just works for eternity and will always work and has always worked in the past. Uh, this is how you can do it. And so let's say you do this 15 minutes a day, which is not a lot, and you will go towards a thousand followers in a matter of months, two months, three months, something like that. And if you do more of this, then then of course it will go faster. Now you have to be careful as well, because if you do this too much, then Instagram will not like it. They don't, they don't like this type of mechanical interactions. And so they will then shadow ban you, meaning that they will show your posts to less people and then you will get less engagement and then your followers don't really mean anything. Because if you would, for example, have 5,000 followers, but you only get 50 likes a post, well, that's a little bit sad and, and that's not really what you want. That said, let's move on to the next strategy. Now the next strategy is my blowing this is really impressive stuff this is what all the instagram models and all the idols that you have on instagram at this moment are using it's a strategy that you can use to go from a thousand two thousand followers to 10 20 50k 100k whatever you want really it's it's the sky is the limit with this strategy now i call this strategy leveraging instagram mastermind groups so what these instagram influencers with their millions of followers are doing is they are creating groups with like-minded people with channels that are very similar in interest and in follower account and in the types of followers that they have and the size of those groups are like 10 15 people something like that and then when they post something on instagram an instagram reel a post whatever it is then they go into those groups and they share that they have posted one of their posts and then all the members of that group will either comment or like or watch consume that instagram post and so what you you get there is you get 10 likes or 15 comments, depending on the size of the group, for free. 
without doing anything. Now, the, the key strategy here is that these influencers don't have one of those groups. They don't have 10 of those groups. They don't have 50 of those groups. They have hundreds, if not thousands of those groups. And so what happens if you have, let's say, a thousand of those groups with each 15 members in and you post something and all of those members from all of those groups comment on your post, then you will get a thousand multiplied by 15. You will get 15,000 comments for free without doing anything and so this is what these influencers influencers what these people are doing they are manipulating the numbers manipulating the likes manipulating the comments in order to get a very high engagement that then leads towards their posts going viral now the next tip that I want to give you is some kind of posting schedule, some kind of magical formula if you want that will make sure that you don't post too much so that you are boring your audience but also don't post too little so that you don't get the benefit of growth and it will also show you which types of content that you want to be posting because some content will get way more organic reach than other types of content of course. So let's go. For your stories you want to be posting ideally once a day because they're very easy to create. For your regular posts you want to be posting one to three times per week because they actually don't get that much organic reach for your reels you want to be posting five to seven times a week because that's where all the organic reach is at this moment they really want to drive people to that because that's the type of content that keeps people on the platform and then for your instagram lives your igtvs all of that stuff that longer form content that goes 10 minutes 20 minutes like perhaps an hour then you want to go for one to four times a month these content types are more to build a deeper relationship with your audience and will not result in more followers or anything like that and so yeah again write it down take notes copy paste it screenshot it whatever you need to do make sure you got this and a little bonus tip when it comes to posting you have to make sure that you post at the right time the difference between posting on the worst time and the right time can be the difference between 500 views and 20,000 views and so you definitely want to make sure that you have some kind of timing schedule that is completely accurate and generally speaking you want to be posting at the time that your audience is most online that will be around 8 a.m in the morning or around 5 to 7 p.m in the evening for most pages but it also depends on your audience let's say you have an audience that is aged in between four 40 and 25 then those people will be going to school and during their lunch break they will be sharing reels with one another they will be sharing tiktok videos with one another and so what you want to be doing is definitely posting around like 11 to 1 p.m around that time somewhere and you obviously want to use the time schedules of the target demographic that you want to be targeting if you want to be targeting america then you have to use those time schedules if you want to be targeting the uk then you have to use those time schedules not your own time schedule if you for example live in India for example I mean that's that's not going to work now there's one more elephant in the room that we have to talk about and that is how I personally got millions of views on my post tens of thousands of likes did I use these strategies myself now for the first strategy all the way in the beginning on Instagram specifically I did choose this I did go on this follow on follow type of trajectory all the way in the beginning to get like the first I don't know 700 800 a thousand followers something like that and uh, for the second strategy this Instagram mastermind group type of strategy I did not use this at all because I thought it was a little bit too much of a scammy strategy it's, it's, it's like trying to manipulate your numbers on Instagram to look good something like that I don't like that and, and, and it's not really artistically rewarding and so I didn't want to do that even though my influencer friends with their million follower type Instagram accounts recommended me this and said that this is the only way to really um, get those numbers high every single time I I didn't want to do this but I still got millions of views I still got those those engagements really high and, and so how did I do that well there is one more strategy and that is basically to make awesome content that people want to share that people want to watch that people want to re-watch over and over and over again and so how do you do this how do you make sure that every single post or a lot of your posts a lot of the content that you create has that extremely high level of shareability that like the extremely high quality type of thing going on well you do this by modeling content of other creators that have proven to work extremely well what do we mean with modeling we basically mean stealing in an artistic way stealing in a way that it is not obvious that you stole content so how are you going to do that well you are going to go on instagram on tiktok on any platform you will scan for the best content that goes viral that, that reaches millions of views and then you will write down 
why that is the case why you think that is the case for example you will write down well all the way in the beginning they had this hook and that made me feel this way that i wanted to watch this video um, all the way in the beginning i saw this face of a very hot beautiful girl and and, and, and that's why i wanted to watch it all the way in the beginning blah, blah. you you start to write down why you think it has such a big impact and you don't do this once you do this hundreds thousands of times so that you have a database that is 100 pages long 200 pages long 300 pages long full of you analyzing the best performing content so let me give you an example here on youtube it's the one that i most recently started to digitize i also have this for instagram i also have this for tiktok i have this for everything that i do basically but on youtube one of the things that is very important is, for example, the intro of your video. And so what I do is I select viral videos, then I transcribe the intro of that video. I analyze why I think this intro works so well. You see this in this comment section. And then once I have established that, I transform that intro into something that I could potentially use myself for my own channel, for my own niche, and in line with my own experiences. And then once I have hundreds of these types of intros, then I can start to combine those intros elements from one intro with another intro etc etc to make sure that the intros of my videos are really nice really crisp really clean and are driving audience retention you can do the same thing on instagram you can do the same thing on tiktok and i have done the same thing on those pages and so this is for me a much more rewarding way because you really learn communication skills here you really learn why posts are performing so well and this learning will benefit you for a very long time now there's one problem Problem. this is very important there's one problem with this strategy and that is that it only works on platforms that have a very high organic reach it only works on platforms with a very high organic reach and so does this strategy work on instagram today no it doesn't it doesn't work anymore because Instagram has lowered their reach just like Facebook they have lowered their reach to push people into advertising their content to push people into spending money on the platform and so can you still use this strategy yes you can on YouTube yes you can on TikTok that said if you want to learn more about why Instagram might not be a good idea for you as a content creator and as a consumer why this platform is kind of broken to some extent at this moment then I would recommend my video that explains all of that it's a 10 minute long video I will link it up in the description and in the i cards and in the end screens and that said get the hell out of here